very fast vlog intro. My tongue is still very sore. Oh my god, where did that come from? I got some of this though. So thank god. Uh, <laughs> um, I literally woke up, got out of bed, and now I'm in the car. So yeah, my tongue hurts. So <laughs> this is bad. I'm going to get groceries at Trader Joe's. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, oh no, it's gross. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Honestly, my ideal, this is so not cute. I blame the plane. My ideal morning is Trader Joe's and Starbucks and future. Thanks, to, I can't speak because of my freaking kink. <laughs> um, it's gonna rain soon, so. I have to get, my. why are my eyes watering? Guys, I'm so on. The Pacific Standard Time Zone. <laughs> oh Hi guys, I thought I would do a little, this is a weird angle and I have weird, a weird combination of shirts on. Um, this sports bra is like underneath this very weird, you know what, who cares? <laughs> so I thought I would do a little Trader Joe's grocery haul. I have not numbed my tongue yet because I had to cut the tube open and I couldn't do it in the car and I can't talk. So, why are you staring at mommy? Why are you always staring at me? He's like, like all the time. He's like, mm. his ears are so big too. He's like this. But he's a little poopy. Okay. I thought I would do a little potential thumbnail. Who knows? Um, so. I'm very much so copying Polina, um, like her vlogs. She does this kind of thing, which just, yeah. I was like, cool idea, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> First I got some fire roast. I got a ton of stuff, I have no food. I have like a little bit, like condiments and pasta, but that's it. And I, well I have like frozen like cauliflower, but I don't have like substance, uh, so. so. I got some, this stuff is like melting. Some onions and peppers. Some steel cut oatmeal, um, some almond, original unsweetened almond milk, and then I got some vegetable fried rice, um, bread roasted onions, and a multi green blend with vegetables. I don't know. Looks pretty good. We got two bags of sweet potato chips because if you girl, you love chips. Days, but I really can't ever cut it out. But it's it's a thing. It's you know treat yourself. Um, and we got some mangoes, some frozen mangoes, and oh, it's not just freezing. We got some acai blend packets, um, strawberries in the berry blends. Make a little freezer bag like all of my food is frozen. The thing is, for me, I don't eat like like just normal produce that fast. So I go through phases where I do, then I don't. So if I can keep it in stock in the freezer, it's cheaper and it stays better longer. And we got some hummus. We got my favorite, uh, balila. It's like this mixture of like chickpeas and black beans and tomatoes and it's spicy like kind of, but it's so good. I eat it by itself or with like tortilla chips or like tortillas, um, some guacamole. And then I got two things of extra firm tofu. We got some bananas, um, some easy peel bread, sesame, my favorite. The wheat potatoes, so good. And we have two bottles of coconut water. I don't drink it as much by itself, but um, more so like in smoothies and stuff. And then the glasses. We have some um, B complex with like B complex vitamins with like 
B12 and biotin and folic acid and just stuff that you don't get from meat necessarily. So just a little vitamin. And then we have some gummy vitamins. It's more of like a daily vitamin. Um, don't think it's fully vegan, but also like you guys watch my channel, you know that I, I'm very like, I will not ever call myself vegan because it makes me under microscope, but I like to eat vegan, yes, that's very true. But otherwise, like, I don't ever be like, I'm vegan, because people will like put it in your face like dumb times, so let's just not feel a positive. <laughs> we got some corn and chili salsa, and then we got some avocados, which I think are finally ripe because Finding ripe avocados is so hard. I swear, like, whenever I get avocados, they're never, they never ripen. And it's so annoying that they want to have ripe avocados. This candle broke. Um, okay. We have some quinoa. We have some Trader Joe's potato pots. And I got a ton. I'm going to show you one at a time, but I got, like, four bags of these freeze dried mangoes and four of these banana slices. They are a really good snack for this whole bag. It's 190 calories and then for this half bag it's 150. But it's like, it's literally just a, a freeze dried fruit. It's like not that bad for you. But and then I also got these individual packets of whole cashews. Um, they have a little bit of salt on them. Little roasted. I wanted a raw but I couldn't find them. But it's okay. Um, more so because it's turning to school soon and I want to have little like snacks to like put in my bag and stuff. And then I got some, I don't know why, I have a ton of lotion, but I want to try out their coconut body butter from Trader Joe's. And last, I have some um, strawberries and I have some carrots. I love carrots and hummus. Other day I was like, I, all I wanted was carrots and hummus. I don't know why I was like craving it all of a sudden. And we have some frozen broccoli. I don't know why I bought this. I have tons of frozen broccoli in my freezer already. Um, butternut squash. I was going to do a list, but I was like, I need so many things that there's just like no point because I need more things that I know I needed. <laughs> we have some chopped vegetable mix. I love this stuff. It's easy for meals. It's just tossed in the frying pan. And then they have these things called coconut chunks to eat by themselves or put them in smoothies or put them in smoothie bowls. What's it so cool to me? and I thought it was just a cool little thing to add to my smoothies. And then, uh, oh yeah, this looks really good. I definitely was very like, in the mood to just like eat the health today. I was like, I'm gonna just get things that are good for me and healthy and I need them. I have nothing in my cupboard, so I was like, let's go. Um, I spent about, well, I don't wanna count the water. I got like $20 water. It's very, very bougie of me. <laughs> but it's like alkaline water and I'm trying to be just, I don't know. I really enjoy eating healthy and very clean and like good for my body. I also think that when you invest in yourself, like in the long run, if you if you eat poorly your whole life, like you're gonna end up developing these diseases and things that cost way more than it would ever cost just to eat healthy from the start. Um, I definitely do not eat perfect. I literally will eat so bad sometimes, but like in the most big picture, for my like everyday lifestyle, I try to eat very healthy if I can. That is on my shoulder. Um, but yeah, a little rant. Um, anyways, I spent like $150 on all this stuff, but if you look at how much I'm getting right now, it's a lot of stuff I'm getting. This is lucky well, like two weeks. That's not bad considering how like good quality this stuff is and how healthy it is. And I got one more of these almond milks and then got some vegan or balanced butter, my favorite butter ever. I'm almost out of it. I put it on like quite a few stuff. And then like one last thing I got was I went to, I was getting my, sorry my laundry so loud. Um, I'm playing open season in the background. I don't have cable yet. I haven't gotten it because I was going to, when I moved in, I had a week to move in and I was going to LA. I had like 10 days to move in. But when I moved in fully, I was trying to like film and stuff also. So I didn't get cable yet and I need to get a rug still for out here, but it'll come this time. But I just got <laughs> some Claritin, some Advil, and then my mouth sore, tanker sore for my tongue thing, and then hair ties and some like uh, hair band things because I don't have, no, my hair, I, have, I don't know, I lose all my hair ties, I don't know where they went, no idea. 
So guys, oh, I also got paper towel. So not bad for how much I literally spent and like got in general. And I got vitamins. If you don't count like water bottles or vitamins, it was only like 130, 120, which is not bad considering. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's worth the investment. And I, if I ever get off that mindset, I just watch like What the Health or some like Netflix documentary and it helps me get back into it. Um, but don't obsess over it. Because for me, uh, I used to be obsessed. I don't want to call myself orthorexic, but I definitely think I was like borderline. Um, because like I definitely wouldn't say no to bad food. I would just was like very obsessed with like being healthy and my body weight was like up and down and stuff because I was very obsessed with like health and stuff. But I think now I'm in a better place where like I just like to, I, I just want to eat really healthy and I definitely like have gained weight since like starting college, but everyone does. And also uh, I was definitely very like underweight going into college because I was like obsessed with eating healthy and I wouldn't eat like sometimes, but I don't want to call myself orthorexic. I definitely was not. I think I was very close to being there because like I said, I definitely would still eat very bad foods and be like, oh, it's fine. Like kind of like borderline bingy, but yeah. So regardless, about three years later, I'm much healthier. I work out to be, I want. I, I just want to be fit. I just want to be like have tone. I want to be like muscular, like not like bulky, but like I want to have tone. I definitely, I, I'm like more tone now and I'm so confident and I'm so happy and like I never did not plan on doing this right now, but there it is. Um, yeah, I think that's important to eat healthy to eat healthy. If you want to lose weight, that's great. That's totally fine, but don't get caught up with like obsessively eating healthy because that can be very bad on you and just make you more stressed, which does not help you get anywhere besides in the hospital and like, like not like the next day, but like in the long run. So yeah, a little rant for you guys there. Um, don't, please don't hate on me for my, how I like to eat and spend my money on food. People are kind of like funny about that. They'll be like, not like like comments, but like I'll read or comments people videos. People are kind of funny about how, like I just don't understand. There's, there's no point in like putting your energy in someone else's face, but like in the wrong way. Like just let people live their life how they want to live it. If you like to eat pizza, I don't care. Like same, me too. People think that like, People like to th assume that people who like to eat healthy are like so against eating badly and or just living their life without putting a label on like how good quality their food is for them. Like I don't, I like to purchase whole groceries and good for you food, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna say no to eating some like nachos and <laughs> some pizza with like everything on it. Um, I will say though, um, we're like, me saying that comes into play more heavily is whenever I, I I'm kind of like mm, I'm not saying kind of I'm very intolerant to dairy. Um, sometimes more cases than others, but if I eat it by accident or if I just say whatever, I'll eat it and don't take a lactate. Like I'm gonna be throwing up. I remember when I was in Los Angeles um, back in June, beginning, beginning of July, I. Ate like a lot of dairy. I always like with my friends, just like drinking, hanging out, and stuff. And um, I'm 21, by the way, so don't even try to like <laughs> snatch my weed. <laughs> um, and I, I was eating like macaroni and cheese and pizza and like all this dairy. And I was just like, oh, it's fine. Like it's totally fine. And I probably have had I had like one drink, like nothing. And I literally run to the bathroom and I threw up because I was so from the dairy, like, ew. And throwing up because of like dairy and stuff. I'm sure it was like, probably because like the mixing of like alcohol with the dairy, but also it was like so little alcohol and so much dairy. So, great. <laughs> Not cute. Um, but yeah, that's more so why I am very good about eating healthy. But that's why I care more about buying whole groceries when I'm here because I'm gonna eat if I eat badly, I'm gonna be throwing up. <laughs> but it does not mean that I will say no to some pizza and some lactate, girl, throw it in. <laughs> so, what the heck? Oh my gosh. I had my diffuser on the ground and I thought that it was like smoking behind. I have my garbage can right now, like you're on top of that right, right there. Um, I thought it was smoking and I was like, what the heck? But it's my diffuser. 
So I'm gonna go put the, put the stuff in the freezer room stuff. I'm gonna work on my slime shop today and I'm going to edit a video going up at about 5 or 6 p.m. Eastern with Karina and I'm pumped about it. It's like a, it's our collab finally. So I'm pumped. What is full of it? I bit my tongue. Anyways, I'm um, gonna stop talking. How? It's already been 14 minutes. I just ramble and ramble and ramble, but that's who I am, so <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, guys, I will talk to you when I am not on the floor. Maybe I am next time, we'll see. This is like the best lotion I've ever had in my life. And look at this like top opens on what it is so amazing it smells so good it's so luxurious like feeling oh my gosh it's on my legs it's on my skin it smells incredible for every Trader Joe's pick this up and tell me how you like it please tweet me it's amazing coconut body butter oh it's beautiful I love it yes girl also my kitchen is much more clean now, and my freezer is stocked, super stocked, and my fridge is also very stocked. Like, thank goodness. So then, this is the alkaline water I was talking about. It's like, it looks like this, and it's just a bigger size. Are these one liters? These are... 1.5 liters and I on the way back into the grocery store I picked up these and I already drank an entire one of these this is one liter of water I can put water down so it makes it makes better sense if I just buy like bigger bottles I just chug them anyways and I just have more obligation to have tons of water a day so I love seeing my fridge stocked my freezer stock, it is so incredibly satisfying. That might have been a thumbnail, we will see. And oh my gosh, I'm feeling so good today. Just having like food and being like together. I have to do dishes still, but you know. We're getting together, guys. Also, comment down below. Should I do a glue test on my vlog channel or my main channel? Where I compare this to other Claire Glues. Let me know and I'll do it on another channel mother's running against your mother, that would be awkward. Would you settle this up? Settle what up? We need a bond this lunch. Maybe even her leaving her phone. Were we supposed to tell you? Thank you. Oh, baby. Thank you. The fault. Thank you. This is a scam. So we oh, photograph this with a phone. Oh, this you. is not research. This is an invasion of privacy. Exactly what's wrong with American politics. This is completely illegal and hazardous. Did you know your mom was sick? Yeah. Is it bad? 